Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles and this plant you're looking at is spotted Joe Pie Weed. There are two different types of Joe Pie Weed within the eastern United States. One of them is called Sweet Joe Pie Weed and the other one is Spotted Joe Pie Weed. This is called Spotted Joe Pie Weed because as you can see along the stem you can see these reddish purplish spots or splotches that run all up and down the length of the stem. Now Sweet Joe Pie Weed does not have this feature. So that's something to keep in mind. However, both of these plants are both usable in the same way. They both have good medicinal use. Now a lot of people confuse Joe Pie Weed with a version of Bone Set because as you're driving by it or you walk by it, it certainly looks like a huge, gigantic version of Bone Set. You can see these flower clusters here. They're kind of blending in with the trees. But here you can see that one up against the sky. Its flower cluster looks very similar to Bone Set and its leaf structure looks similar at a quick glance. And the reason that is, is because you see these very large leaves. They look like they have the same texture, but they don't. These leaves kind of, the top of them has a kind of leathery feel, but it doesn't feel near as leathery as Bone Set. The underside of the leaves on Spotted Joe Pie Weed have these little bristles, as you can see here, whereas the top of them does not. The top of these leaves are completely smooth. Another one of the big differences between Bone Set and Joe Pie Weed is Bone Set, or Thorough Wart is another name for Bone Set, has leaves that are perforated by the stem, whereas Joe Pieweed has a whirl of leaves as you can see here. You can see all these different little stems and each one of these has a leaf at the very end of them. On spotted Joe Pieweed, something you may notice is at the base of each leaf stem where it connects at the node to the main stem, you may notice these little red or purple tinges that you can see here. That's another identification factor of this plant. There aren't too many plants that look similar to this. Like I said, most people just confuse this with bone set. And they have some kind of similar uses as far as promoting sweating. Both of these plants can make you sweat. That's actually what Joe Pye used this. Joe Pye was a 17th century white man who claimed he was an Indian medicine doctor when in reality he was just a white man who had some good knowledge of some botanical plants and herbs and he used this, this Joe Pye weed, to help treat typhoid fever. Now something else you may notice about Joe Pye weed is how large these leaves are. Here's my hand for a comparison. These leaves can get anywhere from six to nine inches in length and they can get up to two and a half to maybe even three inches in width. They're very long as you can see here. They're lance shaped or spear shaped. So they have this very fine point on them. The edges or the margins of the leaves are teethed or serrated, just like you can see here, all these little bitty teeth running up and down the side of this leaf. The stem of Joe Pie Weed can get very, very big at the base. As you can see here, here's my middle finger for a comparison. It gets pretty close to the same size, just a little bit smaller than my middle finger. So this stem can get about half an inch in diameter, is about the biggest I've usually seen it. And here's one that's slightly bigger, again, for comparison. There's nothing really unique about the stem of Joe Pie Weed in shape. It's just a nice round stem. It's very stiff, feels very solid. However, like pokeweed, it is still easily broken when the plant is growing. So be careful of that. Joe Pie Weed can get to a lot of varying heights, but usually I see it growing anywhere from six to eight and a half feet tall. You can see this huge plant here, and I'm standing straight up right now. And this thing is, I swear to God, this thing is almost 10 feet tall. This thing is absolutely huge. So these things can get anywhere from six to 10 feet tall. A lot of the areas I usually find Joe Pie Weed growing are in clearings along the edges of tree lines, like you can see here. I'm in between two tree lines. I'm actually on a trail. I'm in the middle of a forest right now, and there's a little bit of a clearing here, and this is where this Joe Pie Weed is growing. Now you can find this stuff on the edges of fields. You can find it in clearings in your yard. This stuff will pretty much grow anywhere that it can. Now some of the uses of this plant, like I said earlier, you can use this plant to help induce sweating for colds or flus, and it will help you to sweat. Most Eupatorium species like bone set will also do the same thing. And a lot of Eupatoriums, after they've been studied and laboratory tests, have been found to have a lot of immune boosting qualities. So that's something else to keep in mind, and that corroborates with a lot of historical uses for this plant for colds and flus. As far as using this plant, you can use the leaves and you can use the root. However, there are also historical documents that report various Native American tribes using the entire plant for teas or washes or decoctions. So keep that in mind as well, that there are not only different ways to use this plant, but you can use the majority of this plant for what you need it for. As far as the flowers on Joe Pie Weed, both of them have like a purple to pink kind of flower. It's similar to iron weeds, so it's like this magenta sort of color, whereas Bone Set has a white flower. So that's something else to keep in mind, that if you see a plant with really huge flower clusters like this, 
and it has purple or pink flowers, it's most likely a Joe Pye weed. And as you can see now, these flowers have already gone and died. There's nothing left except brown. There's no colors. There's no distinguishing colors left in these flowers. However, the distinct shape of this plant should be more than enough for you to be able to identify it because it is a really easy plant to identify and it doesn't have any toxic lookalikes to my knowledge. The only lookalike it does have is bone set and they do share some similar uses. So that's kind of a good thing actually. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.